So why use a base theme? One common practice in learning theme development is to use an existing example. But modifying or hacking an existing theme makes it difficult for others to help you because they don't have a common starting point. By using a parent theme, others can readily understand your starting point and it makes it easier for them to help you. Keeping custom development in a sub-theme makes it easier to isolate and differentiate issues from the base theme. So it makes it easier to isolate problems that you're having with either your customizations or with the base theme. And so if you're encountering a bug or an issue with the parent theme, by turning off your sub-theme, you can really isolate the problem and verify that it's actually a problem with the base theme. A parent or a base theme provides template files, PHP functions, and a template.php, and other supporting files that a sub-theme will inherit. A sub-theme will inherit all of these files, the HTML markup in the template files, the CSS, and the PHP code, the preprocessing functions, and template.php. And a parent theme may also provide a starter kit, which is designed to be a starting point for developing a custom theme. And the starter kit can be cloned into a sub theme and provides a basis for starting custom theme development. This is a really good choice if you're doing custom theme development. You have specific requirements for the look and feel of your theme, and you want an underlying structure that adheres to a certain principle. So for example, with Zen, if you want standards complete compliant semantic HTML5 markup using Zen as a base theme and then cloning that starter kit to use for your sub theme gives the infrastructure, the bones of your theme, a good starting point and that's more in line with your philosophy of markup. And then that lets you customize however you wish. It's not necessarily a good starting point if you need a lot of assistance with the look and feel and you're looking for something that is close to the final visual design that you want and you just need to make a few changes. This isn't really the theme for you because it's a very stark visual presentation. Really, the modifications are behind the scenes in the HTML itself. And so a starter theme is a sub theme that has utilized a starter kit and is ready for custom development. I'll be using sub theme mostly as a term for the starter theme. And I mostly use the term base theme instead of parent theme to refer to Zen. So Zen is my base theme and Zen demo is my sub theme. <laughs> 